All right, well, you're back again for We Will Rock You, but you're not in the same role this time around. Uh, no, it, well, it's a similar role, but it is uh, it is different. He's called he's something different now. He's six. He used to be Burton Cummings, and um, he's a bohemian. But I also understudy three different characters as well, as, as Britney Spears and Kashagi and Buddy Holly and the Crickets, who used to be called Pop. So it's lots, there's a few differences about this show, yeah. So is it a little bit more difficult with all these characters? It, uh, it's a lot to know in my head, <laughs> but it's um, it actually, it's a nice challenge for me because uh, I, I did the show here for two years and now having done it on tour for a while, that it, it's, it's something that keeps it fresh and, and um, you know, keeps my mind working. Are you a great Britney Spears? <laughs> Fantastic Britney Spears. No, it's a, that's actually a really fun role to play. I love playing Britney Spears. It's, uh, for those who haven't seen it, uh, it's kind of a s- bit of a surprise, but uh, it's, uh, for those that know, it will know that it's a, it's a super fun part to play. That's great. Well, the show, I mean, it was such a hit when it was here in Toronto, and most of the show is the same, but we have new changes this year. Yes, there is a new song. There is a new character, like I mentioned. Um, there's kind of there's some updates to the script because it's they try to always keep it relevant and new because it takes place in the future, so you always have to kind of keep updating and and uh, the, which is great about our writer and and director Ben Elton and the the gentlemen of Queen who are have worked right alongside of us, and uh, they. They always update. They always make sure that it's current and relevant. And uh, yeah, so there's some new things for the Toronto audience that they didn't get to see last time. But the nice thing is that it totally keeps the heart and the energy that people that have seen it before are used to and and remember. Well, of the 24 songs of Queen that we have in the show, is there one that really gets the audience going? Oh, there's lots that get the audience going. But I would say the finale uh, few songs, which are fantastic which is you know uh, we will rock you we are the champions bohemian rhapsody it's uh yeah those songs get people standing on their feet singing along waving their hands in the air so it's 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 a pretty magical moment actually is it intimidating to work alongside the men of queen when they're supervising and watching you guys and giving (laughs) pointers you know when I first, very first time I ever met them, way back in 2007, uh, it was, uh, when I first met them, I was like, wow, these guys are rock legends, Ab- absolutely. But then when you get to meet them in, their, in the rehearsal listening to you guys and maybe saying something, they're, they're just good guys. They're great guys. That, and so they instantly make you think about the art as opposed to the fact that they're super famous and are at filthy rich (laughs) they they yeah they just make you think about the project and they're passionate what they're passionate about and so instantly you become working peers working on a project of great rock and roll that's great yeah did you learn anything specific from them something special you remember uh this time i didn't work with the guys in queen as closely as last time but i remember uh brian expressing a way of singing the song who wants to live forever uh, and he just gave me some tips on sort of how Freddie's approach and, and things like that. And it was more kind of approach things that way. But um, and uh, of course, Ben Elton, who is huge over in, in well, yeah, he's, he's a fam- very famous man. He was our writer director. He's given me lots of stuff to work with, both as an actor and just even just as a performer in general in, in writing and all aspects of theater. And so I've re- learned a lot. And um, but it is, it's one of those things where you're working with these superstars and our, one of our producers is Robert De Niro. So having him in the room, sitting there watching a rehearsal and, and it, it's, it's just, it's, it is kind of surreal <laughs> to have, to be working alongside them, but they're, they're all just really approachable, nice, nice guys. And that's great that they are so involved with it, with all the rehearsals in the show. Yeah. Well, they're, that's at the heart of what they are. They're, they're super famous. They won, you know, Robert De Niro's won a bunch of Oscars and Ben Elton's won lots of awards through his TV writing and stand-up comedy and, and of course, Queen. But um, the cool thing is that they, they all, at the heart of them, are artists and they create. And so when you get down to the art, that's what they're interested in. You know, when they don't have to be getting paparazzi taking their pictures or doing stuff, they're, they are artists. And so that's, that's what's really nice about working with them is right. that they, yeah, they want to collaborate. Awesome. And in the show, is there a favorite moment for you or a favorite song? Favorite moment for me or favorite song? You know what? So I love the song Under Pressure a lot. And uh, I don't know. I've always just really enjoyed that song. It's uh, one of those ones that just speaks to me. I, I love the groove of it. I, I love the bass line. It's, it's, it's a great tune. Um, as far as favorite moments in the show, there's, there's a lot. You know, 
it sounds pretty cliche, but there's something about the, the end of the show when the audience is on their feet and they're singing along with you and it's honest, it's an honest reaction, it's not a forced reaction and you get to just see joy and, and feel that, you almost feel like a rock star. You do, you feel they're up rocking with you and so it's a pretty special moment.